Hello, welcome back to my channel. I have reviewed a number of planetariums previously and one of the questions that comes up quite a lot is can you zoom in and go around the solar system and things like that and, and the standalone planetariums, no you can't. So I thought I'd try this for an experiment because I've been sent this projector to review. This is the Ape Man LC350. It's uh, very reasonably priced actually. It's, um, I'll put links to it in the description below. And I was gonna do the usual, show you what it looks like. It's got the buttons on the top. It's got its little keystone and focus rings and all that kind of stuff. But instead I thought, let's actually see what it can do in terms of helping me make a better ultimate planetarium. So I'm just in the middle of downloading a free bit of software called Celestia. It's completely free, put it on the laptop. So this is the projector and on the side it does have HDMI which means I can plug my laptop into this projector and what I'll be interested to see is do we get more of that planetarium experience where we can throw it on the wall, um, maybe crank some music on in the background and then using the laptop to power a planetarium-like experience through a projector. I'm just loading it on now. I'm gonna set this up and try it out. I know that this isn't great when it's in daylight. It's got, I think it's 4,000 lumens. So I'm gonna have to wait till it goes dark. So because this has a HDMI in, I can plug in the laptop. Of course, you could plug in another device a fire stick something like that for watching movies on so it's on now you can see it's on but as i suspected being a low-cost projector you can't see it in daylight doesn't surprise me that's that's okay though that's not a problem because i need a little bit of time just to get this planetarium software installed and set up and then we'll see what it can do So here we go, let's fire up the projector. It's dark now, we get a much better picture. It does have a little inbuilt menu because it can read from SD card, USB. I've got HDMI plugged in and I'm now gonna swap to the HDMI menu. And here we go, here's the Earth. And this is a free bit of software. Let's just get in so you've got a bit of scale. So you can see I'm, I'm getting a really big projection. So we're actually, here we go, dark side to light side of the earth. And it's huge, it is massive on the wall and it looks really good. When you consider this is a low cost projector and if you want to learn more about this, I'll put an affiliate link in the description below. And so there's a low cost projector. I already have a laptop, so if you've got a laptop, you just need to get the projector and download this software. This software is free of charge. I'll put a link to this in the description below. There was actually, when I did a search, quite a few different free options. So I just happened to pick this first one. It's running through a demo at the moment. You can see we've gone from Earth to the Moon. We're now at the Sun, so we're now whizzing around the solar system. And from what I've seen, I haven't looked too closely, but from what I've seen, this software also offers an educational uh, package, which is where you can get more tours and information around the um, stars and solar system and different other solar bodies. So definitely worth looking into if you're interested. What do you think to the projection? I think that is really good. Now, it's not got the rich blacks that you get from some of the uh, planetariums I've tried. So I think the, the flux and the dark sky offer a, a richer looking black and stars but if you want something where you're, you can explore the solar system whizzing round as long as you already have something to plug into a projector like a laptop this could be a great option the projector itself is sat about three and a half meters away for it to be this big and it's sat facing a wall but it does have a tripod mount so you could mount it at a right angle and fire it up onto a ceiling if you wanted to. It also has quite a loud fan. So I can hear the fan from here. I don't know if the microphone will pick it up, probably won't. But that's because it's just me talking. Now if you were gonna use this properly and you were having all this on, you might try and find a program where there's music and narration. You might have a look at just putting this on and putting some music playing in the background and that would easily cover the fan noise up. The projector is actually pretty good for 
not just this, but it's also very good for movies, TV, uh, gaming as well looks really good. You do need it to be pitch black, but look at the size of this. You're not gonna get a TV this size. Of course, you do need a wall this big to project onto. Um, but yeah, I have to say I'm pretty impressed. So if you want to make your own planetarium, as it were, if you wanna get something that whizzes you through space, then maybe this is an option. Dig out a laptop, plug it in via HDMI, and enjoy the show. So there you go, there's a little demonstration of how you might want to use a low cost projector to make your own planetarium. Just project it on the wall, go explore the, the solar system, the galaxy, depends on your software. Of course, that's a great thing. You could try multiple versions of this. You could buy something like Elite Dangerous, have that projected up, that'd be pretty awesome. If you're interested in this projector, affiliate link in the description below. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel. It supports me, encourages me, and makes me want to make more of these videos for you. I hope you found this short review useful. Thanks for watching.